Well, there's there's five big names that are going to get the tag. I, I know Eric Berry said he's not going to play on the franchise tag. Doesn't mean he's going to have the choice whether the Chiefs use him. So you look at the top of the market, uh, Eric Berry, Kirk Cousins, Le'Veon Bell, Chandler Jones, all of these guys are going to get the franchise tag if they can't work out a deal before free agency starts. It just makes too much sense for the teams to use it and then negotiate afterwards. Yeah, and uh, the Cardinals have already made it clear that they are going to tag Chandler Jones if they can't reach a long-term deal, but they want to do it to reach a long-term deal. It's not like they just want to put the tag and have him play out on it. They are going to try really hard to get that deal done, to get it done soon and not have this thing drag out until July. So of those guys, I would say that maybe he's the most likely, if he's tagged, to turn that into a long-term deal relatively quickly. Uh, although Kirk Cousins and the Redskins certainly don't want to go into that situation again. They would love to get the long-term deal done ASAP. Yeah, Greg, your thoughts on Kirk Cousins? We've had this tag conversations about number eight in Washington uh, before. Uh Mike knows most of these negotiations don't really pick up until you are tagged because that sets a baseline deal. Kirk Cousins, if he gets the tag and he actually played under it, essentially signed a two-year, $44 million contract to play quarterback the last two years. He'll be paid $24 million guaranteed this year under the tag. So I don't think that sounds too bad as a baseline. And to work out a contract before free